All right, and for what you've all been waiting for, we're assuming, this is the Source 4 LED ellipsoidal spotlight. And uh, so I'm gonna let you explain kind of what's going on with it. Welcome to the Source 4 LED. When I say Source 4 LED, I'm referring to the back end of the product that has an array of 60 LED emitters and then a tube in front of it that homogenizes the beam. In front of the light engine, though, everything is the Source 4, is typical of the Source 4 family. It uses the same exact lens tubes. Lens tubes is a regular Source 4 product from 5 degrees all the way up to 90 degrees. That also includes the zoom lens tubes, which have an absolutely great performance with those. And uh, the fixture behaves exactly how you would expect a regular Source 4 to behave in terms of making the appropriate shutter cuts, being able to rotate the lens tube around. You can place gobos in here and put those gobos in focus or out of focus, just like you would expect from a regular Source 4. The LED array itself has seven colors uh, built into it, and this is me talking about the Source 4 LED Luster Plus, which is our color-changing version of the fixture. We have red, amber, green, cyan, blue, indigo, and white LEDs to represent the broadest spectrum of color that you can get with an LED fixture. Uh, makes and has an absolutely wide range of colors that can reach, even the more difficult to reach colors, like a magenta or an amber. You can very easily, with the seven color mix, reach the lighter colors, say the straws, the light pinks, the steel blues. And you can make white light that looks absolutely beautiful and natural on skin tones. You have built-in intelligence in these products so that you can control them with or without a console. Uh, we can enable features within the product, such as redshift, where as you dim the product, it will become warmer to mimic what a tungsten halogen lamp does as you dim it. Uh, so that's not only in shifting its color, but also in the dimming curve itself. Uh, the fixture consumes a maximum of 160 watts. You could daisy chain the power between nine fixtures uh, so that from one circuit, you can have nine individually controlled source for LED products. Uh, we do make a solid warm white version of this fixture called the Source 4 LED Tungsten and a solid cool white version of this fixture called the Source 4 LED Daylight. Uh, it also strobes, which you can't do. And because it, is, uh, it produces so, so little heat, I could actually print on a uh, laser jet transparency, place that in the gobo slot, and <laughs> use that as a sort of a cheap gobo option uh, for a little gag. Well, now the two things people are going to wonder is, first of all, when, is, when are these shipping and what, are the, what is the price range is going to be on, on the LED part, not including the tubes? So I believe we built our first batch of fixtures for production uh, release yesterday. Uh, we'll, we'll be shipping them out by the end of this week, which is very exciting for us. Uh, and the fixture itself... From the lens tube back, or not including the lens tube, from the shutter assembly back, is going to have a list price of $29.95. Um, and of course, it works with your existing inventory of lenses. Uh, we do recommend using the enhanced definition lens tube to maximize uh, the amount of output that you get from these products, as well as having just very, very clean optics. But it, w but it will work with the, regular, with the regular lens tubes too, right? It will work with the regular lens tubes, and they actually perform very nicely with the regular lens tubes. Cool. Lumens. Oh, and uh, in terms of a product design, one of the goals of designing this product was to have a very efficient fixture design, uh, which is something that we started doing back when we designed the regular Source 4. When we designed the regular Source 4, we took what used to take a 1,000 watt lamp and we developed a very efficient 575 watt HPL lamp uh, and got the same performance out of that. With the Source 4 LED though, we wanted to really utilize the LED technology to take it a step further. Um, so we've been using a metric lumens per watt and gauging our performance uh, for the fixture. 
Uh, the lumens per watt performance, just to give you a bit of perspective, uh, for the 575 watt lamp is about 13 lumens per watt. For the 750 watt lamp, it's about 18 lumens per watt. This fixture has a range, depending upon the flavor that you get, of about 33 to 42 lumens per watt. So, uh, we are working to not only provide the highest in terms of color quality coming from an LED product, but in really enhancing your system with the most efficient technology or with the most e efficient application of the technology uh, within our fixture design. Cool. These are all really cool products and if you want to see them, uh, I'm sure they're on the website at etcconnect.com and as with all the ETC products, they're like I know you can't feel them through the camera, but they're super solid. They're just like a regular Source 4. The dimming is just exactly the same as what you would expect high quality from ETC. So if you're an ETC person, you're going to want to get a hold of this. And even if you're not, now's the time to try it. It's good stuff.